Hey, our friends, today we're drawing another bug. What are we drawing today? A cicada. You, did you forget? Yes. <laughs> we hope you're going to follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use markers, but you could use a pencil. You also need some? Paper and something to go with. Yeah, all right, let's draw a cicada. Okay. Let's first draw the eye to our cicada. We're going to draw an oval shape. We're going to draw it over here on the left side of our paper. I'm going to draw it about this big. Ooh, it's going to be kind of gross because it's big. We're drawing, <laughs> I'm trying to zoom in. I, I hope I never see a cicada this big. Yeah. <laughs> then we could also draw a little dot in the middle. Then let's draw the top of the head. We're going to come out, curve around, and then back in. Well, that's already gross. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then we're going to draw a line down here that comes out from the bottom of the eye. And we're going to draw the front of the head. We're going to come out, curve down, and then connect in. Now let's draw the first leg. We're going to draw an upside down U right underneath the eye. Then we're going to connect the bottom of the U shape. And then over here on the left, we can draw the line coming forward. Then down here at the bottom, we're going to draw a curve that comes down and then up and connects to the left side of that line. So curve down. Then we're going to bend the leg coming straight down. And let's make that the front of the leg thicker. We're going to draw another line next to it. Then down here at the bottom, we can connect those two lines together. And we'll draw a curve that comes out for the bottom. This is like the foot, I think. And then we can curve back up and connect in. Oh. And we could draw, <laughs> that's kind of gross, and then draw a little hook at the end. Okay, now let's come back up here. We're going to connect the head into that leg. So we draw a little curve right there. Now let's draw the top of the body. We're going to start here and come back. We're going to curve up and to the right. And then we're going to curve down and connect into the leg. All right, now let's draw the next leg. We're going to draw an oval shape right here. We'll leave a little space and draw a little oval. Then we're going to draw a long U shape. We're going to curve down and then back up. This is for the next segment in the leg. And then we can draw the foot. We're going to do another long U shape for the foot down here at the bottom. Nice. We could also add a little hook at the bottom of that foot, too. That's how they hang on to the trees and the leaves. Let's repeat all of those same steps, but we're going to draw it lower. So we're going to draw the same oval shape, but we're going to draw oval. And I'm also going to tip it so it's going, see how this leg is like this? I'm going to tip it so that this leg is coming back a little further. Yeah, you can draw it a little bigger. There you go. And then we're going to draw another U-shape that comes down really far, a really tall U-shape. You could draw it coming down this way. Then we're going to draw the foot. We're going to draw another U-shape, long, skinny U-shape. And then let's add that little hook at the end again. Let's connect the legs into the body. Right here, we're going to start. We're going to curve down and then connect into the leg. And then up here at the top, we can draw a curve that connects to that line and also up to the body. Then on this leg, we're going to draw another U shape that comes down. This, I think, is like a knee. It, it looks like the knee on the leg. Well, they got a lot of different parts to their leg. <laughs> and then right here, I'm going to draw another diagonal line that comes up. You could do the same thing, connect right into the body. Yeah, or the leg. Now let's draw the rest of the body. We're going to start here, and we're going to curve like this. Oh, this is going to be really gross. Oh. We're going to curve down, and then right here at the end, we're going to curve back up. <laughs> 
So a curve down, a curve to the right and down. And then right at the end, start curving back up. Yeah. And then we can curve back. We're going to start here and we're going to curve to the left and we're going to come up and then touch the leg right there. I love that your drawing isn't exactly like mine. That's okay, right? Mm -hmm. The most important thing is to have fun and to practice. practice. Remember to practice. All right, now on your body, it's a little different. So right here, see it, this line? You can imagine it going behind the leg and then connecting over there. Yeah, now let's draw the wings and the wings go past the body. So we're gonna start here, right in the middle, and we're gonna draw a line that comes up, diagonal to the right. Then we're gonna come further to the right and right here at the, the end of the body, we can stop. Then let's draw the bottom of the wing. We're gonna come back to the middle and we're gonna draw a curve that comes past the body. And then we're gonna curve and then stop really far, really close to the edge of the paper. Maybe yours, your body is shorter. So maybe you stop right about here. You can do it. There you go, keep going. Cross over the body and come back further. They have these really big wings. Then right here at the end, we're gonna curve back up to the top and connect to that top line or the edge of the wing. Then let's come back to the front of the wing and we're gonna draw another curve that matches the bottom of the wing. And watch this, right here at the end, we're gonna get closer and closer until we connect into the edge. So it tapers, gets thinner. Let's draw the other wing too. We're gonna to start here on top of the body and we're gonna draw another shape that matches the top of the wing. And then we'll connect in, kind of like what we did for the bottom of the wing. And we got three legs, but how many legs does a cicada have? Six. Six, let's make it look more 3D. Right here, we're gonna draw another sideways U shape that comes out of the first leg that we drew. So come out and back in. Then we're gonna draw the front of the leg or bending down. So we draw a really tall U shape. And then let's draw another foot right here, but we can angle it differently. So I had it coming out further to the left. And then let's add the little hook at the end. Then we're gonna draw two more legs, but they're shorter because they're behind. So I'm gonna draw a U shape that comes down like this and back up right in between the, these two legs. Then we could draw the foot coming to the right. And then let's add that little hook at the end. And maybe this last foot back here or the last leg is really small. We're just gonna add another U shape right here. And then we'll draw the little foot coming down further. And a little hook at the end. Oh, we need to draw the antenna. Let's draw one curve coming out of the head. And then we'll draw another one that's higher. Awesome, we did it. We finished drawing our cicada. It looks really cool, but we're not completely done. We still need a color. This part we're going to fast forward, but at the end, you go pause the video to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Awesome, give me five. We did it, we finished drawing and coloring our cicada. Now we also added a leaf that it's standing on. And also I added highlights and a texture to the wings to make it look more realistic. But you can leave those extra details off to keep the lesson a little easier. Do you wanna add the texture to your wings though? Yeah. I started right here and I drew a line that would come through. So I drew a couple lines that came out from this spot right here. So you could start right here and then draw a curve that comes all the way to the edge. 
Yeah. And then draw uh, two more or three more above it. There you go, maybe one more. Then it's kind of like a leaf. You could add a couple extra texture lines branching and coming off of those other ones you drew. I really like that extra texture on the wings. It makes it look more realistic. Yeah. The other cool thing I like about cicada wings is that they're transparent. That means you can see through the wing. And to do that, we just colored it yellow first, or orange, it's kind of a yellow orange, on top of the whole thing. And then we use a lighter gray to color the body. That makes it look like it, you can see the body behind the wings. We hope you have a lot of fun drawing a cicada. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we hope you take extra time to add more things to your drawings. Like a background, oh, you could draw lots of cicadas. Maybe they're smaller ones. They're not as big as this one. This, this one's really close. You could draw ones maybe this size. They're further away. And then you could draw ones that are really small off in the distance. Just swarms of them. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.